So we had to have this character um, to be a leading man for Seal of Ward. And um, Leslie Moonves was very good friends with George Clooney, and he called us and said, what about George Clooney for this part? So George had uh, a deal at uh, Warner Brothers, and he had done in a, few, a few failed pilots, um, and uh, Leslie said, uh, you can have lunch with George, but he's not going to audition, read for you audition. So we said, well, fine, why not? So we had lunch with George, and George is exactly who you think he is. He's there. He is hilarious. He's wonderful. He's warm. He's just charismatic as can be. We had a great lunch, and that was that. And I had, um, I did most of the casting there with the casting people um, at Warner Brothers. And uh, we, the next day, we had like, I guess, like 30 people scheduled. And we saw one or two people or three people, like maybe a morning, and I called Irene, our, uh, our casting director, and I said, Irene, just send everybody home. I said, I don't know if George Clooney can act, but he is so, such, so charismatic and such a wonderful personality. I'm sure he could do this part. And that's how he got the part. And uh, he was, um, you know, he's George. He's terrific. And I think, he, I think, I don't know, and I don't want to step on this, but I believe that he really became an actor on Sisters. And uh, there was one, um, we always had, we always had a, um, a reading and a lunch for everyone uh, to read the scripts. And some of the actors would um, read it for the first time. And uh, we encouraged, people would fool around, they'd joke around, we encouraged it because that's what they needed from a, from a long day of shooting. Uh, and they had a night, we had a nice lunch catered for them. And there was one episode where, a uh, very dramatic episode where George, um, he played a police detective and he had kept a, um, his a gun in, uh, locked in a box and he forgot to lock it. And his little son it found it and shot, and Christmas shot himself. And it was very dramatic. And George, who was always, he's, you know, George loves to play pranks. He's a jokester, at least he was. And all of a sudden, he started acting this, I mean, he really. He had a long monologue about how it was Christmas and he'd hidden the presents on, in the closet and his son and found, everyone was just found the gun. And dead. that's why he never celebrates Christmas. Right, dead silence. Um, it was a Christmas episode. And after that episode, after that reading, he got he went, very serious. Suddenly. Yeah, I said to him, George, you know, you have become this great actor and kind of leading the cast, and it was just we were so proud of him. It's just really, really great. So we're very it's lucky. It's interesting to have him. seeing somebody at the very beginning of their acting career. I think he'd done a couple of sitcoms before that. Yeah, for NBC, and I think that's why they didn't want him because they identified him with the sitcoms, that's right. Right. and they didn't feel he could handle. A dramatic series. Obviously, they were very wrong. And as soon as they saw our show, they stole him away from us and put him on ER.